Welcome back. I am Laurie here at Pieces of My Art. We are back again today to do some more drawing and watercoloring. I We are going to do some umbrellas today and I'm excited. This is just a picture I have in my own mind. It's going to be fun because um, the, just the technique of, um, that we've been doing some with watercolors, it'll just make it a lot of fun to get some of the reflective color in the water because it's gonna be like a rainy day with umbrellas. But anyways, I'm gonna hop over to the other chair so we can paint together. That chair looking empty is kind of sad. All right, gonna get this in a good spot. Be sure and say hello if you guys are hanging out with me today. If you're just watching, it's fine. You can watch, you can paint. You can do this later. Um, so just whatever, I'll just get in, hang on here, I gotta get my computer up here so I can see if anybody has anything that they um, want to know. I just wanna say hello. I love seeing the geckos from yesterday, Lori, that you shared with your, uh, your daughters and your friends. They did such a good job. I hope they enjoyed it. So let me scoot this over just a tad. Make sure. So say hello if you're on, if you're watching today. Otherwise, it's just going to be, um, I'm just going to get caught up here in the zone of painting. I know a lot of times people will come on later. Um, hi, Sheila. I'm glad you're here. I feel weird talking to myself. I will do this for one person. I don't care. You know, I have had great turnout for this, and I know a lot of it, especially at the beginning when we were really stuck inside. And now we're kind of, we got a lot more freedom to get out, and the weather's changing and stuff like that. So I know a lot of times people will come back and catch it later. But anyway, Sheila, thank you for joining me. So it may just be you and me today. That's okay. All right, so we have our Sharpie and we have our watercolors. And this is going to be fun. Now, um, Sheila, I would like to do this with where we don't draw it with a Sharpie first. So I'm gonna grab my cardstock paper to show the picture that we're gonna draw. So those that like the outline, that feel safer with outlines, um, where you can just do the basic drawing techniques and then you can fill it in with color, which is totally fine. Um, I'm gonna do that first and then I'm gonna go over to my watercolor paper and I'm gonna do it that way to where we can have fun with just the colors. Okay, so I have this picture in my mind. I'm not looking at anything today, which is always good. I feel like I've really accomplished something when I can break away from having to always have a reference to somebody else, something else. Okay, so my umbrella. First off, I'm not gonna worry about if my umbrella gets wonky shaped, if it's not perfectly symmetrical. We'll just pretend it got really windy and the the, uh, the wires inside of it got bent or something. So I'm gonna try to fit, I'm trying to think the order of what I'm gonna do. Just to kind of get it to look right. Okay, so I'm gonna, Put maybe, I'm thinking of some rain boots too. I'm just trying to think how this is gonna lay out. All right, we'll just start over to the left side. I'm gonna start with my first umbrella over here. Okay, so I'm going to make a big wide U shape, okay? This, I don't think this is gonna be very hard at all. All right, so I want to do the, and I want it to kind of make a gradual curve in as I go across with these little scallops here. Now, if they don't come out just right, it's okay because it's a circle, okay? So they may not be all the exact same width. Don't worry about that. Okay, so the one thing I do wanna do is I wanna make sure that my umbrella handle is the right direction. So I may go ahead and put a little bit of a point here at the end of my umbrella. And then I wanna come right up. So that way I know it's going the right direction. Okay, this can be a double line if you want. 
Um, it wouldn't be very wide, so actually mine's just a thicker line for my Sharpie, so there's not gonna be anything to paint in. Now I can make my handle. It can be a hook, or it could be straight with the, you know, just the straight ones that have just a thicker part to hold on to. We'll do a couple of them. Okay, so there's umbrella number one. Now these do not have to line up exactly. They don't all have to be exactly at the same place. Some could be a little forward or a little further back. Okay, so we're going to, I'm gonna come over here. I just want, I have such a cool idea in my head, so I'm trying to work this out with you guys. Okay, so now I'm gonna make a big U shape going this way. This is those, do you remember those umbrellas? I don't know that I ever had one, but I think my friends did, and I was always a little envious, because it's those umbrellas, and they were clear, and they were like dome-shaped, and it's almost like you could get completely underneath it. I never had one of those, but I always thought they were the coolest. All right, um, I gotta come back to this one here and do something else before we do much more. So this one is, we're just looking at the bottom of it. Okay, we're not quite done with either one of these. All right, so now I'm going to make sure that my handle is where I want it to be. So I'm just using my paintbrush to kind of guide it. And again, I'm just gonna make it the width of a thick Sharpie line. And if you want a curved handle, you can do that again, just however you want your handles to be. Okay, so now I'm gonna jump over to this one again. Okay, so I want to be able to see the far side of this one. So it's going to round up a little bit. How these scallops kind of rounded down towards the middle. These are going to come up a little bit. So it shows, so you're looking on the inside of it. That's why I went ahead and did the handle because the handle is in the middle, obviously. Okay, so now the next thing is each of these scallop points is a line that's going to curve into these this um, point here okay so this one here is a little closer it's pretty upright so the angle of it might be a little different you don't want a lot of space between this top or bottom scallop line and the back one All right, so there's two umbrellas. Now we could do, will it fit? If I could do one more in the middle. We could do one flip the other way, which would be kind of cool. Let's do that. I don't know that I can fit it in here, though, but let's try. I think I can. All right, so I'm gonna make a U going this way. Stopped right before I got there. All right, now the angle that I'm looking, I can see inside this one, I can see inside this one, but I don't think I would be able to see inside this one because you're looking kind of up underneath it and if you can see down in, you can't see up in. Does that make sense? So now I'm gonna make my scallops going that way turn my paper just a little bit make sure my umbrella handle is where I want it and let's just make this one the the kind that where the handles just a little bit thicker all right so now I want to connect all of my points to my scallops to the center my Sharpie's getting a little dry. Okay, so there's our umbrellas. All right, so when we paint, now I'm gonna set this up above mine for reference, okay? Poor Caden, I miss Caden not being here. Do you guys miss Caden not being here? I sure do. All right, so I'm putting it up above, and so now I'm gonna do, we're gonna follow the same thing and if it's easier, I don't know where my pencil is. I've got such a mess of a stack of stuff here going on. 
Aha, uh -huh, I found a pencil. If you want to do a pencil, you can if that helps. Um, to just kind of see where your lines are. It might help on this. So you can do it lightly with a pencil. So I'm going to come back and do this again. I'm going to do it really quick. So that way we're not spending too much time. Let's see, I guess I need to do the base of my umbrella first. My scallops. I'm going to make sure my... So some of this I'm not going to worry about getting all the details in. I did notice that when I went back to erase my pencil line on something that we did, that if you've painted watercolor on it, it doesn't erase very well. So keep it light. And then you may want to not have, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this because I'm going to have it so light. But this is going to be so cool when we start painting, okay? All right, so there's umbrella one. And I'm leaving, to see how much space I'm leaving down here because the water that we make below it is what's going to be so cool. All right, so I want to come over. Let's do the U-shape umbrella, the kind that I always wanted when I was in grade school. I don't know if it had scallops so much, but we're still making scallops. I feel like that's what an umbrella needs. Using my paintbrush handle to kind of make sure my line is where it should be. I'm not going to even do two lines on that because I know when I paint it, I can put it in there. Oh, we got to do the little red marks. Now, that's another thing that I would almost say you could do that with your watercolors. So I'm gonna go ahead and erase those. We know that they're there. We know that there's gonna be these separate sections, okay? So when we paint it, I guess you can put a little bit of a guide. So when you paint it, you know that you wanna leave some color or don't paint in between that. All right, so now I'm gonna flip the other umbrella and I'm gonna change the direction of this one. I'm gonna go this way. Man, I'm press them hard with this pencil. Much better to go light, but I want you to be able to see it. All right. Now for the fun part, the painting. I will use my little paintbrush. And let me give a little bit of a guideline on this one. To kind of tell where those different sections are. All right. So I feel like everybody has to have a red umbrella and everybody has to have a yellow umbrella. So I think I'm going to stick with primary colors for this one, which I don't have any primary colors other than yellow in my tray because these are mixing colors. So I'm taking my red, or my red violet over here on my lid and I'm putting it there. Now I can either put the orange, or the, you know, the orange violet in there, red orange I mean, or I could use the yellow to get my red color. I want a nice red, cherry red color going on for my umbrella. Okay. Now, I don't want to do so much the wet on wet for the umbrella part. I just want to paint it. Because it's rainy out, you don't have to paint. You can leave some places that are not even painted on your paper. And that will give the look of like light reflecting on it because it's wet. And I'm going to go through this pretty fast, otherwise we'll be here for a while. So you can let the colors not quite touch each other if you want to. 
The colors are going to be darker towards the bottom of the umbrella because that's more your shadow. Too much pink in that. You guys can totally make your umbrellas whatever color you want. Now when I want to make this really dark, I can take like some of my pink, my red violet and then it just makes it darker down at the bottom and I definitely inside so inside the umbrella here is going to be darker too Somebody's like grinding up a tree. I've been hearing it all day. Okay, if it mine got a little pinker than I wanted it, so I'm adding some of this red orange on top. And it adds makes it better. As things dry, I can add another layer. where I want it to be darker. Okay, so there's umbrella number one. Hey Gail, welcome. Are you painting with us? All right, so the next one is, I'm gonna do yellow for my middle one. So just the same thing, just get my yellow really wet. Leaving just a little bit of a space even a couple places that maybe I don't put any color, so it just gives a reflective look of light and water. We can add some darker areas to this one once we get this on here. And let it dry for a minute. just a teeny bit of orange, probably too much, into my yellow so I can lift some of it up. But I want some of this to be a little darker. So I'm kind of pulling some of this orange in it a little bit. So my yellow stays really vibrant. And then I can also, it gives a look that there's some shadows in it, especially along those um, metal ribs and that umbrella. All right, umbrella number three. I'm loving it already. This could be totally beach umbrellas. So if you guys wanna totally forget the rain, um, do the beach umbrellas, absolutely. All right, so I'm taking, for the last one, I want it kind of a dark blue. So I'm taking my blue violet. Let's come over here where I have blue on my lid already. I want a navy blue color. So I'm taking my purple, and then I'm going to get my 
turquoise color and put those two together for this one. Okay, so I'm going to turn my paper just a little bit. So I'm going to just kind of, for this one, I'm going to paint both colors on it instead of doing too much mixing. Now I'm taking my purple, my blue violet, and putting it in with this so it's more of a navy blue color. And I want to leave just a little piece of part of it that doesn't have paint on it. There's a little bit of a line that's not painted in between. thing in my tray. So I'm using two colors for this one. I'm using the turquoise and the blue violet. heavier on the blue violet for what I want. So I left a couple places without any paint to just kind of give the look of some light. I gotta remember I have my umbrella handle there because I didn't paint both sides of that one so I got to leave a little bit more of a space to put some color in so it doesn't bleed all into my umbrella part. But sometimes it just happens and that's okay. All right so there's my umbrellas. Let's go ahead. I'm just going to take my black and do the handles for now. And it's going to bleed right into that blue, but that's all right. There's that one. Now we get to the fun part. All right, so I'm going to go to this medium sized brush that came in my tray of watercolors. And I want to just do water. I'm going to start over here under my red umbrella. Okay, at first, I'm not really going to try to touch my umbrella because there's certain places that I want my color to come down into this and there's places that I won't. So I'm just putting a big puddle under here because first I want to get my water color. My water color, as in the color of the water that the umbrellas are lay, laying in. I'm taking black, okay? Do you see how it just does its thing? It's so cool. Okay, I think I'm gonna do black and turquoise. I don't want it 
super dark. But remember, things will dry later or lighter than. I feel like that's too much color. So hang on here. So I'm going to just take my paper towel and I'm absorbing a little of this. And then I'll re wet it. Because I don't want it real dark. I don't want a real high saturation saturation of color here. All right, so here's where this is gonna be cool. So see my umbrella is really bright red. So I'm gonna let my, at the bottom of it, I'm gonna let the water touch the red because it's gonna make that red bloom down into my water. Now I'm gonna to have to help it a little bit because I want a lot of reflection of color. So I just dipped in the red that I had been using and I'm putting it in just kind of random places underneath, under, I can't even talk today, underneath this umbrella. Now you can kind of try to follow the shape of it, but you don't have to really exactly. It'll totally give you that idea. But see how cool that is? So you got your water. Now make sure I get all the red out. Because I'm going to come here and I'm going to bring my water. A little too much. You can absorb some of it up with your brush. But now I'm going to come over under my, under my umbrella. That is a song. I don't know if anybody knows it. I remember it. My husband was probably the one that introduced me to that song a long time ago. He sings so many different things. It's funny, it just came up. I hadn't thought of that song in like forever. Now, I don't want to get right up necessarily to the black candle, but I can at the bottom where it's touching the ground. The rest of it, maybe not so much because the handle can be coming in. Okay, so now I can go ahead and touch, even though that's up off the ground, it's not really the yellow, it's not really down in this. It's the yellow shouldn't really, ow, man, I'm sitting on my foot, my foot's asleep, my other foot's like, turn funny, I gotta, sorry, I had to move. I sit on my feet and then after a while, it's like, why did I do that? I'm stuck like this. All right, so now I'm getting my water over here. I'm gonna bring some of this over here. So the yellow, what I started to say, so the yellow for this umbrella is going to be down further, not right underneath it, because this one is angled in a way that the, the, top, the actual color part of the umbrella is not in the water. So now I want to put some of this yellow down here. Now I really do want all my water to go up behind the umbrellas too. So that's just something I'll have to, we'll have to add in. So let's come over and do the blue one. This one, you can let it touch right at the base of it. So it pulls in a little bit of that blue. Whoops, getting a little crazy. I drip water everywhere. I do want some of this blue in here too, but I want it to get grayed out. So I'm using some of the turquoise blue in with my black because I want it kind of a gray blue. Let's go, since I have so much, I'm bringing it over here. All right, so now we get to do the, the last umbrella. And the blue. I'm just using the blue violet because I already had some of that turquoise in this water. So I'm putting this color down here. So now I have all the colors and I don't like how this petaled because of the way my paper crinkled. Let me use my little brush to push this around. I don't like all this water. It's just like Huddled right here in the middle. Absorb some of it because my the way my paper's bent, it's like swooped right there in the middle. Now 
I can add more color down on this. I look at the video. This looks really cool. Okay, so I gotta turn it over because I don't wanna be laying my hands on top of my umbrella. So I gotta turn it around to just kind of push some of this water up here. to have a lot of color up here if you don't want to but you just want to show like it's your look and your perspective as you're looking across something looks like concrete I guess and there's all these umbrellas laying here now there's like zero color so I'm going to take a little bit sometimes it's just fun to let the do its own thing. There was a lot of black that just landed right there, but because see how my handle it just totally bled out into that blue, but it, I like how it. All right, so at some point you can stop and change it to maybe more of a sky. I'll turn it back over so we can kind of get a look at it. Or you can just go all the way to the top. You really don't have to go all the way to the edges with this. Sometimes I just kind of feel like I have to fill in all of this. But I'm going to turn it around again so I can kind of get a better idea of where I'm at with it. On the top side. So it could just be like less color up there if you want it to be. I just like to let some of these different colors just kind of do their thing because when it dries later, it looks so cool. All right, so I want just a little bit more. Put some little. All right, so I just, I feel like I want a little bit more, another little swoop of red in here. I took my red violet and my red orange, put it in there, just make it a little brighter. Now I'm gonna take another little swoop of yellow, or a color, couple swoops down in there. Get my brush clean between these, because I don't want to introduce a new color by accident. Like I really don't want green to show up in here because I don't have any green in this. Those aren't mixing very well, but I'm gonna leave that and that look kind of cool. All right, so a couple things now that I could do is if I want to, this is where I can go back a little bit and I can add some darker lines on some places like on my umbrella to get the shadow and highlight look darker towards the bottom. Darker inside. Umbrella. I, I like the yellow one. I feel like it's good. Um, I could come in. See, as soon as I touch that yellow into my wet gray, it just starts bleeding into that. But anyways, I think, I think I love this. I think this was just absolutely a fun a little watercolor demonstration with you guys. And I know when the kids get on here and do this, um, I can't wait to see you guys' pictures. You guys, this is for, it doesn't matter what age you are. Kids are just fearless when it comes to painting. You grown-ups that are probably the only ones that are on here right now, 
need to just let go of the fear of mistakes. You guys, I don't know how to watercolor. I just love doing it, and it's just so much fun. So anyways, that was our super quick umbrella painting, and I will be back next Monday to paint with you guys. I will not probably be here Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday next week, but I think Monday and Friday next week we should be able to paint. But anyway, share your stuff. Make sure you share this with people that you think might be interested in seeing this. Um, Facebook loves it when you share things, and I love it even more because it helps me um, reach more people with the awesome um, awesomeness of what painting and art will do for your heart. So anyways, thanks for joining, and I will see you guys Monday. Have a great weekend. We'll have rain, and we'll have sunshine, and we have warmer May weather. I hope your flowers are growing great. You guys take care, and I will talk to you all on Monday.